Hello and welcome to Art Therapy Live on Wednesday, February 24th. I'm just wrapping up February with the heart theme, um, inspired by quite a few things today. Well, let me back up to last week. One of the things that inspired me was that second perspective drawing that I did from my brother's perspective of our family with the aerial view from the airplane and how the whole world looks like patchwork quilts to me. Um, You know, the fields, the forest, they have different textures. Then you have mountains and streams, cities, homes, suburbs, um, all those different things, lakes, oceans, that create this really cool, they look so different from up in the air. That aerial view makes everything look different. And it reminded me of quilting. Then I'm also listening to this book about eliminating the hurry, talking with clients this week about broken hearts and strained relationships. Then I listened to this teaching about mending hearts and how it really starts with spending the time for building the relationship and seeing ourselves and seeing others at a heart level from a place of love and kindness and patience and how that is what sets the stage for the healing of the problem. Now, typically we look at the problem first and think, well, what are our solutions to that? So today I thought I'd take a minute and do some mending, slow it down, get our hands involved and look at things that we can do to mend our own hearts, to mend relationships in our lives. So today I was walking and I was looking for supplies to mend supplies to make this like idea I had in my mind of a small heart quilt. Um, and I, I put on my socks. These are like my favorite socks this year. They're super comfy. I like the colors. I like the patterns. And I realized that I've quite worn them out in walking in them, walking around the house. And it reminds me of if I would have taken time to notice this ahead of time, I might have been able to save them to catch this before it's threadbare, to catch it when I can mend it. Now, maybe somebody's really good at mending and can tell me how to mend socks, but what I do is I just flip them over and wear them upside down for a while longer. Or maybe eventually I'll make them into mittens or actually do a little quilting or something with them because I just really love them. Anyway, it reminded me again of relationships, and if we don't take time to take care of our hearts, to take care of relationships in our lives, we get a bit threadbare and feel disconnected. It was a good visual for me. I don't know if that's connecting with you. I hope so. If you don't want to work with fabric today, no worries. You can do this on paper as well. And you could do that by drawing or uh, with collage, with glue. You could sew your pieces of paper together. Anyway, I went to my rag pile and grabbed a few pieces that I liked, you know, either the texture or the color. They actually all three have different textures. So in thinking about relationships, places where your heart might feel broken or disconnected, and that could be just within yourself. It could be with friends. It could be with family. You can run the gamut. Grab some fabric that might remind you of those relationships. Grab some textured paper. or just start drawing shapes and patterns that represent those pieces to you. And I'm just gonna start by cutting a couple chunks of fabric out here. One thing I like about trying out different supplies like using fabric is um, it forces me to slow down and think a little bit differently instead of just racing to what I know and slapping it down. You can get uh, fabric pencils or markers that you could draw and trace patterns onto so you can get it exactly the shape you want. You could be fancy and fold seams under. I'm just trying to think through the shape of a heart because I just feel like making an actual heart design today. Um, And something that I think is really interesting, I don't know if any of you are into quilting, but there is uh, crazy quilting. And again, I'm going to put a link to this in my newsletter. But um, 
crazy quilting began in the 1800s and some Japanese art inspired some Victorian ladies to take all their different scraps and connect them with stitching. So crazy quilting really isn't about the fabric. It's about the embroidery, about the stitches. And the stitches are what tell the story about they are what adds the decoration and the connection pieces. And so what I was thinking as I looked at some of those patterns and was thinking about quilting and mending hearts and mending relationships was what are those things that pull pieces of our lives together? What could those different stitches represent in our lives? Could it be, you know, one of the five love languages? Time, words, gifts, acts of service, physical touch. Could they represent activities that we do with somebody? Could it represent the tone of voice that we want to use with somebody? Could it be the topics we choose to discuss or not to discuss? How do we press into relationships? How do we draw each other closer? Could one of the stitches represent, you know, forgiveness? Could the different weights of these fabrics... So this one is super thin and smooth, guys. This one, thick, heavy. It's got, you know, that terry, terry cloth feel to it. This one is a medium weight very utilitarian. What could those represent about places of our hearts or people in our lives that we want to connect with better? How do they overlap and connect with each other? What stitches, what means of communication draw us closer together? I'm not a professional quilter, so, um, or seamstress or mender. I do what I need to do to get by most of the time. I do enjoy quilting every once in a while. And it's kind of a fun process. It forces you to slow down and look at things differently. Um, and if you do it by hand, it's stitch by stitch by stitch versus the machine where you just go <laughs> and you've got this big long stitch all created. Going and doing it by hand shifts our perspective a bit, slows things down, forces us to, so I guess the analogy doesn't force us to, but the analogy I was thinking was when you do stitching by hand, when you do a quilt that is primarily focused on the stitches and on the embroidery work, you can't get it done fast. It's tiny little pieces like this, and they're stitched together, one action, one conversation, one color, one direction at a time. And I can't help but draw co correlations between that and relationship building. It takes time. I'm trying to decide right now what colors to use here. Maybe we'll just go with those right now. And in my little kit here, there was some buttons. You can add buttons. You can, seriously go crazy with it. Have fun. So obviously you cut out your shapes, then you grab your threads and you could use, if you wanted the stitches to be even more evident or obvious, obviously you could like double up regular thread or use embroidery floss. And then you can do all sorts of fun things like French knots. So right now I am just choosing to make little X's with this pink thread to connect these two fabrics. But pick a color, pick a pattern, change it up, keep trying. Don't be afraid to try different things, new things, to visually represent the joining, the connecting of the pieces of your heart that feel disconnected and the relationships that you feel like you want to draw closer to. I will not just sit here and stitch for you. I just wanted to show you a brief example. And I will finish this up because I'm really enjoying this of process of just slowing down and going one stitch at a time. I'm gonna grab my notebook real quick and show you how you could do this just with you know paper and pencils or markers. So with the fabric, I didn't sit there and write each thing out. 
but on paper, I think it would be easier to actually identify what those things were. So thinking about hearts, the broken bits of our hearts, what is feeling disconnected? I'm just going to draw sort of jagged shapes. Some bits are going to feel, you know, tinier than others. The colors could represent something. So the colors can represent something. The size of the pieces can represent things. If you choose to use collage papers, that could be super fun because you could cut them out and the, you could write things on the back that you wanted to remember. You could fill these in with patterns to represent something of the relationship. You could write on here, like perhaps you feel disconnected from, uh, let's put sister. Perhaps uh, you're not feeling connected to, you know, yourself. Maybe there's, you want more time with walks in nature here to calm down, to feel at one with yourself. Maybe you're needing some more quiet time. Maybe you're feeling disconnected from God's love. Oh, let's see. Maybe you wish things with... Uh, your dog were better. Maybe there's finances. You know, there's no end to the number of pieces that you could put on here. Just connect with, spend some time, I guess, before you sit down to draw about what things feel separated in your life, what pieces are you feeling disconnected with, and then fill each piece in with something, whether it's the words or maybe even copies of photographs. Maybe like if I was feeling disconnected from a family member, I could actually go find a picture of them, print it out on paper, cut it out and put it in into my heart here. And then you could take, if you did collage, if you did separate pieces for this, you could take the thread again and you could literally stitch your papers together. Or if you wanted to do it all with paper, you could draw lines to represent the things that you want to connect. So maybe it's the thread. All right, so I'm not gonna draw the needle right now, but maybe this thread, maybe the different colors of thread you could put down here. Do a nice fancy spool of this thread. Did I grab the right purple? Nope. And you could label what this, this thread, what this color spool of thread represents to you. And that's what's going to connect these different pieces of your heart. So maybe this one is going to be, I'm going to put phone call for that one. Let's see, what could be another spool of thread that might be something that helps bind broken places or disconnected places in your hearts. Do you have any ideas here? So I'm making these um, spools so literally just with like ovals half circles here. Maybe this is listening. I'm kind of color coordinating. You do not need to color coordinate. I'm just trying to use the pencils that are in my hand.
And you could use, again, you could... I think you're going to like this link to the crazy quilt things because it has really cool patterns that I think might be really fun to use, even in the drawing bit. What could the green thread be? Maybe it's, um, maybe that's time. Maybe it's playtime. I feel like using the orange here. And maybe you realize there's certain things that connect multiple pieces. The sky really is the limit for what you could put in here. You could have these spools be different sizes to represent the amount of time they take or the amount of energy they take you to do. Listening, phone call, playtime. Maybe um, send a letter. So a couple simple ideas there. Again, you can do this with fabric. It could be a great way to do this, to slow down and think about these ways that you can better connect. So here's the start of mine with the fabric. You can do it on paper, just with drawing supplies, or you could take collage paper and literally stitch with your threads the paper together. So stitching fabric together, stitching paper together, uh, and just drawing it. Whatever connects easiest with you, whichever doesn't feel intimidating to you. Because again, this is just about getting it out there for yourselves, of giving yourselves permission to sit down and spend some time in quiet, thinking about the places, the disconnected parts of your heart, and how do you pull them back together? How do you mend those things so that they'll feel connected Mend it while the rift is small, before it's a major problem in your life, uh, before it's totally broken off and feels unreachable. But how do you bring the pieces of your heart, the relationships in your life back together? What could those activities be? That's, again, represented by the thread. What does that look like? And remember to give it time. Stitching things together takes time. It's one stitch at a time each effort matters. So thanks for popping on today. I will put a post out there on Instagram and Facebook uh, with links to a YouTube edited version of this activity today and with links to the inspirations I mentioned. And I've got exciting guests coming up. We've got music therapy. We've got uh, polka dots, which is a cool fabric. We've got a writing exercise coming in with an interview. So lots and lots of good stuff coming. If there's any questions that you have about any of our activities, or if there's certain materials or topics you'd like discussed in a therapeutic way with art, uh, please let me know. I'm always looking for ways to better serve you guys and cover the topics that you would like to see discussed. So thanks for joining today. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you next week.